think of the later years as being necessarily a country we want to visit. Why do we think of it coming to an end and that these people that are older are just kind of leftovers? What did you used to do? Like, who did you used to be? It's like you leave your meaningful identity behind when you become a senior and elder. I don't know. We haven't found another word for it. Some of the new phrases don't exactly move me. There's an old adage that says, if you are what you do, when you don't, you aren't. I think ultimately it gets down to purpose and tribe, purpose and relationship. Well, I found that people do better, they're happier, they live longer, they heal faster, they're more productive when they have a sense of purpose. Find meaning, live longer, better. That's kind of the bottom line. The amount of maintenance that the body needs, oi. <laughs> and so all that stuff is, if I want to keep this vehicle going, you know, this old Volvo, <laughs> you know, it's a good car but it needs maintenance. I now have time to select the things I'm going to commit to and that uh, there's not a lot that I have to do. Uh, so I can be quite selective as to how I will uh, uh, invest my life. And I think the um, whole saging movement has helped free me to do that. Jung pointed it out, that why is it that we have, that after we finish breeding and ra raising a family, that we still have life to live. So we have to grant the wisdom of life on the planet to uh, say that there is something about the elder years that is good for the planet. But one of the things I'm sure that Earth needs in order to heal is the wisdom of elders. And that's the point of this work to be able to distill from a lifetime what we have learned that gives us wisdom. There's power in wisdom, and there always has been throughout history, but it's a different kind of power than the power of position or the power of place or the power of wealth. All of our experiences can become um, the kernels for us to develop wisdom. This generation of baby boomers could, could absolutely revolutionize how, how people see elders. I hope that that sort of rebellious, wild spirit uh, could carry forward as the, as the boomers age. Society would like us just to lay down and say, just lay down and die, and I'm not going to do that. We can solve a lot of the world's problems or at least our local problems if if they believe they can do it and they stop being willing to be invisible. I don't have to race around and you know when people say what are you going to do in your retirement it's like isn't that the point of retiring? There's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself to age most effectively, uh, to get the most out of age. If you want to, quote, look young, get a smile. There's nothing more attractive than a smiling elder who's sitting in his chair, whittling, having a beer, having a cup of tea, and pretty soon people come by and they, they just want a piece of that action, man. They just. You, you can't beat it. It's a gift to be able to live a long time. It's an adventure. Aging is an adventure. <laughs>